being a lived experience connector um, for me is one of the best things I've ever done. What I would say about the lived experience connector and the whole ethos behind it is how can you talk about patient centred care without having somebody that uses our services as part of that? Um, I, I think it's uh, an, uh, an important part of any training nursing associate. I've seen people's perceptions um, change and especially in relation to how people had previously perceived mental health. Uh, I wouldn't just recommend it, I think it, sh it should be a must. So a lived experience connector is a person who volunteers in our organisation. They usually have a long term condition and they meet with the trainee nursing associate or board member and share their experience of their condition within their life and how that impacts them. Every single nursing associate that starts on the programme at the University of Chester is allocated a lived experience connector. So, so far we've had ooh, just over a hundred. As you go through the two years with the lived experience connector, uh, we saw each other every quarterly and it's obviously made me change the way I looked on things. Uh, whereas before I was very task orientated, task minded. Now I'm, I'm more holistic in the, in the care that I, that I obviously give to patients. But one of the big things I would say that any lec could teach anyone would be the confidence to actually speak to other patients. You know, not being afraid to ask them those uncomfortable questions that people might find. When it's worked well, it's phenomenal. I mean, I have seen nursing associates, uh, I'm, I'm one of them actually said to me, I used to go in and see the hole in the patient, I now go and see the whole of the patient. Doing this role as a volunteer, you know, you, you, you're giving something back as well at the same time. And I still think today that, you know, the patients should, should touch, talk openly about how they're feeling and, and stuff. And if it, if it can help someone pass their exams and get a job within the NHS, then it's only be, going to be a good thing. So the empathy and the compassion and those ways of being, if they're developed within the nursing profession, then it's so beneficial for the patients. Just so worthwhile, isn't it? So I think one of the really, really interesting things about this is it's gone from just being about how we might live, use lived experience connectors for um, our nursing associates to how that can enrich board members. One of the real delights of working with my lived experience connector is that she does challenge me about, for example, about some of the acronyms that I use. She challenges me about how we make some of our decisions um, and how we do some of our work. So it's been, you know, really, you know, it's like having my own built-in coach as well. So it's been absolutely brilliant, really, really invaluable. I've been working with a lived experience connector for six months. I found it extremely useful. He's helped me in terms of understanding from other people's perspective how we should be looking at things differently. I think he's been extremely useful in terms of helping, helping me to understand person-centeredness uh, in the true sense. There's something about having time to reflect and think and having that time with your lived experience connector helps you as I said, have the time to think and perhaps challenge sometimes some of your perceptions, which is also really important as both a clinician but also as a member of the board. Oh, okay. You're still doing this. So I have a lived experience connector, Phil. When you meet Phil, then you'll know that that's it's always entertaining, um, but also that actually, in an appropriate way, quite challenging. Nice. Hello, sir. How's it going? Yeah, we talk about um, kind of things that I've been through uh, in the past with the NHS, both as a as kind of a patient and a, and a carer as well. Um, and then we reflect on things that are, that are happening, that, that what kind of work that Tim's doing really, and how that how a lived experience can support mm -hmm. that kind of that work. I think it's the thing that you see that has a real impact straight away, and you can see the impact. So, so from my perspective, it gives me an absolute grounding back into what's important. So why are we here? Otherwise, it can become just a sheet full of numbers. Um, and almost, it now feels illogical that you wouldn't have this kind of relationship and dynamic supporting you, um, doing your job as well as you can do it. So, um, absolutely, if you know if colleagues haven't got one or um, feel the need, then you, you 
shouldn't resist it at all, I think. What I would say about the lived experience connector and the whole ethos behind it is how can you talk about patient-centred care without having somebody that uses our services as part of that 360 degree loop? I've certainly grown personally through my time with my lived experience connector um, and I know um, from talking um, generally about this whole opportunity that um, it has provided some lived experience connectors with a, a route through to how they might want to develop what they do with their lives. I think it is just that opportunity to think about, here's an innovation, how might you use it? I would say jump in and do it because it's been a really valuable experience in our organisation and for me it gives value to people who share their experiences and their feedback with us and gives really valued learning for people. It's obviously made me change the way I looked on things uh, and how I dealt with patients and how I looked after them. I recommend it to someone to, 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 to become a the experience connector. I'd definitely say hands down, yeah. I would say yes, take it on because it's all about people and in healthcare that's what we're about.